If you landed on this video, you are probably like me. You love taking pictures uh, and you probably love to travel and document your travels too. For the first four or five years of my photography career, I was really struggling to achieve uh, the wow, crazy look of my travel images. And after many hours spent in front of my computer, I realized that photo editing for a series of images is very, very different than editing uh, a single portfolio image. One of the key elements I was missing uh, was the, let's call it, uh, edit for a book mentality. Hi everyone, what's going on? I'm Andrea, welcome back to the channel. This video is kindly sponsored by Capture One and today we are going to learn a very simple and quick way to achieve a consistent look for a series of images taken during one or more sessions and in different light conditions. Here we are in Capture One, the brand new version 23 with some great new features, some of which we will use in a moment. Here we have got a series of images uh, I took uh, in a recent trip to the Canary Islands to document uh, the lifestyle of surfers uh, with a sense of storytelling. I had a lot of fun and uh, I collected a few thousand pictures taken under very different light conditions uh, from soft light to direct light uh, to backlight, uh, warm tones and cool tones. Uh, so quite a variety of situations. I also use different uh, cameras and lenses. So for example, this shot is taken with the X105, uh, this one with the uh, XT4 and the uh, 50 to 140, and then uh, this one with the XT3 with the uh, 16 to 55, uh, another one with the uh, XT4 and the uh, 100 to 400. Then we have uh, this one with the uh, XT30 with the uh, 10 to 24, another with the uh, XT30 with the uh, 35 uh, 1.4. So every scenario needs a specific lens to convey the story envisioned. Now, our goal is to normalize and edit all these images uh, so that they really look like they belong together. My workflow is based on three pillar steps. The selection of one or two hero shots, uh, the definition of the overall look using uh, the hero shots, uh, and the third step is to make the images fit together and look consistent and cohesive. Okay, the first step, of course, uh, is to choose uh, the images that you want to edit, but most importantly, select a few images that can set the basic look for the entire series. And usually one or two images are a good place to start. When choosing my hero images and the direction I want to take the processing, I always pay a lot of attention to some uh, characteristic features. The light, the color content, uh, the contrast uh, and the mood. And since in travel photography, to tell a whole story, we usually have pictures of people, choosing a hero shot uh, with a person can help to make sure the look you choose works uh, well also for the skin tones. I already made uh, a quick selection using the new call uh, features introducing Capture One 23, which you can find in two areas. Up here in the toolbar next to the import and export, or right in the imported dialog box. It's basically a new automatic group view that doesn't require rendered previews uh, and helps speed up the process of sorting out images. This is actually the dedicated call view mode for the already imported images. For example, I put a few images in this album to show you how this feature makes uh, the selection process easier by grouping images by similarity. You have to select the viewer mode and with this slider you can set the percentage by which the grouping algorithm is less or more sensitive. And that works pretty well. I find a similarity of 50% works very well for this series. On the right side I now have a series of mini galleries automatically sorted by similarity. And here in the left column I can select the images in each group that I like. I can also rate and tag them double click to zoom in to 100% to check the sharpness and use the filter tab. And all of this is done with zero delay browsing, which is really, really cool. So let's move on to our hero images. I've chosen these two images. There is a person in both, uh, although the person in this picture is uh, very small and the light and mood are very different. We will use this portrait shot to set uh, the first look for the other four images, uh, which are similar in color palettes, uh, even though the light is very different. Then this sunset shot uh, with the nice warm backlight works uh, well as an establishing shot for the storytelling and serves uh, as a reference for normalizing the other three shots. Essentially, the goal is to achieve a seamless visual flow from frame to frame without uh, breaking the look between images. The second step is to determine the general look of the series. So on which direction we want to take our images. Color or black and white, uh, vivid or desaturated colors, uh, high key or low key and so on. 
I often use styles for this uh, kind of work. I use some uh, custom styles I've created to achieve uh, different looks, uh, but you can also experiment uh, on your own by starting with uh, the default styles uh, you will find here in the main style menu. Or just create your own styles from scratch uh, and according to your personal taste and vision. Styles are one of the most important elements that help you be consistent in your editing, especially if you are working on a large number of images. I know many photographers don't like styles, but I really like using them as a foundation and they save me a lot of time. Okay, as we have seen before, we have a variety of light conditions. So let's try a few of these styles to see which one looks better on our hero images. To find the right look, I usually use variants. Variants are just virtual copies of the original file that you can use for another editor, for example. They don't take up any hard drive space and I find them very handy for experimenting with looks. So let's create a few variants to compare different styles side by side. Right click on the image and select clone variants. Okay, couple more variants. Now shift click to select them all and now we're going to apply some different styles. For this kind of work I'd love to have that sort of stylized coral film look, maybe with a bit of grain. I quite like the Famara C3 style and uh, how it looks uh, in both images. I also really like the look of this one which is a very stylized style inspired by the movie Surfer Dude with uh, Matthew McConaughey, but it's probably too stylized for what uh, I had in mind for the final work. I think I prefer La Santa C1. I think it fits better the direction I want to give the whole series. It's medium contrast, uh, it's got a fair amount of color, but it's not super vibrant. Uh, I also like how it adds depth to the portrait's main subject uh, and enhances the sunset shots uh, warm tones. Here we are at the third step. Now what we want to do is to normalize all nine images. Styles are a good place to start, but unless all our images are similar, we're going to have uh, to tweak uh, things here and there for them to have uh, a consistent look. No one style will automatically work for all our images. Uh, they are exposed differently and are full of different colors uh, and the type of light. In the latest version 23 though, Capture One has introduced a very interesting tool called Smart Adjustments. And you can guess there is something smart about it. In fact, this new tool is very handy for automatically adjusting a group of images to a reference shot. It automatically adjusts the exposure and the white balance to match the look of all the images, greatly reducing the needs for manual editing. Let's make an example. If we apply the same La Santa C1 style to these two images, the result will look quite different because the starting points are different. So to normalize this image and get a more uniform look, we need to increase the exposure like that, and maybe the shadows too just a tad, the image still looks too cold and so we need uh, to increase the temperature as well and also drag the thin slider more towards the green, like so. Now the two images match better. The new Smart Adjustments tool really helps shorten the time for this process, so how does it work? First we want to use this shot uh, as a reference shot, so we need to make uh, some basic adjustments to the white balance and the exposure. I'm going to increase the temperature to taste, uh, like that. Let's add a slight green tint. Now this tool equalizes just the white balance and the exposure, so it doesn't matter if you move the other sliders. And one more important thing is uh, this first version of Smart Adjustments relies on faces, both for the reference and the images being adjusted. However, I find that this tool does a good job also on images without faces, as I will show you in a moment. Now what we have to do is to click on set as reference so that Capture One can keep this image as a reference. Then we need to select the target images and click apply. Cool. As you can see, uh, Capture One has adjusted the, the overall exposure and white balance and made the image warmer to match the reference. Now let's apply the style. And here we are. The two images are perfectly matched, even though they were taken on two different days and under completely different light conditions. As you might notice, I like to put the two images, the reference and the target side by side to evaluate the adjustments. This really upped up my game in getting a more consistent and cohesive style. This is where 
Capture One shines. While in other programs, so you have got a single reference window where you adjust one image at a time, in Capture One, you can adjust multiple images at once. This gives you a better overview of where you want to go with your editing and allows you to more accurately see which images you need to tweak. It's much easier to match images that weren't taken in the same situation. All right, let's normalize all the nine images in the album. I'm going to select them all with the shortcuts uh, key Command A. We've already adjusted the white balance and exposure in the reference shots. Uh, select Set as Reference. Uh, and then let's apply the smart adjustments to these four shots. Great, they look much, much more cohesive now. Now I'm going to select the second hero shot, set as reference, and then apply to each of these three images. Now we can apply La Santa C1 style to all the shots. If you activate the edit selected function, the style will be applied to all images with just one click. Great, for some images, we may need to tweak the exposure just a bit. For example, this image needs to be a bit brighter, like this, and there we are. The images now look very similar to each other, and that's the beauty of using the multi-image view, the new smart adjustment tool, and choosing the appropriate style that enhances the images so that the editing is consistent from image to image. Of course, behind the scenes, subjects and colors just adds more complexity to the process, and sometimes it takes time. But on the whole, the process is very simple and effective and easy to apply. Oh yes, I haven't mentioned it yet. From now on, you can save the smart adjustments uh, in your own styles. All you have to do is uh, select Save Style and tick the two parameters, Exposure and White Balance. All right, I hope you got something from this video. If you have any questions, please drop me a comment down below. A big thank you to Capture One for sponsoring this video and uh, supporting the channel. If you want to try Capture One, I put in the video description the link to download a free 30-day trial and uh, the code to get uh, 20% off your new annual plan. Also check out my website where you can find all my photography workshops and retreats and shoot me an email if you are interested in anything. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.